Are those sugar substitutes harmless? No, of course not. Um, a paper just came out like three days ago in Annals of Neurology, uh, basically showing that uh, uh, non-nutritive sweetener consumption, so diet sweetener consumption, uh, correlates with dementia. And we think we know why. Reactive oxygen species, so oxygen radicals, uh, little chemicals that are given off from various substances that cause changes in energy metabolism in cells and also cause damage in cells. ROSs, reactive oxygen species. The famous ones are aspartame and sucralose. Do monk fruit extract, do stevia, does allulose, also cause reactive oxygen species. I very specifically looked for data on those, could not find it. But for aspartame and for sucralose, the two biggest ones that are available today, the ones that are used in a lot of diet drinks, huge amounts of ROS generation. Nice. Uh, reactive oxygen species generation. Anything that generates ROSs contributes to uh, dementia. Is the evidence strong at this stage? Yeah, it's pretty darn strong. I heard you've got a, a new theory on the causes of Alzheimer's dementia. That's somewhat this linked. Is this is it. This is it. Can you explain that to me? There is this organelle inside our brains called mitochondria. For, the, for your audience, mitochondria are the little energy burning factories inside each of our cells. What they do is they take food energy and turn it into the chemical energy that your cell can actually use to power itself. And that chemical energy has a name, it's called ATP. If you took biology in high school, you've heard of ATP, <laughs> adenosine triphosphate. The energy is in the phosphate bonds. So ATP will give up its energy and go to ADP, diphosphate, which will then give up its energy and go to AMP, monophosphate, which will then finally go to adenosine. And adenosine binds to the adenosine receptor and makes you go to sleep. By the way, that's where caffeine works. It blocks the adenosine receptor, keeping you awake so that the adenosine can't bind to the adenosine receptor. So that ATP is the currency of the cell. That's what makes the cell run. Anything that depletes ATP is going to put the cell at risk. So what happens when you start running out of gasoline? Well, you break down. You'll break down. <laughs> so brain fog, difficulty concentrating, irritability, and ultimately all the way to depression.